G'day, I'm Adam Hills. Welcome to The Last Leg Correspondence. As the news edges ever closer to entertainment, entertainment is edging ever closer to the news. And that's where we step in. We're sending correspondents out into the real world to shed a bit of light on the big issues. And lately, the news has contained a lot of doom and gloom. Will Russia come to blows with America? Or will evidence surface that Donald Trump has just blown Vladimir Putin? <laughs> yes. It's, very, it's a very scary, depressing time. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> and while India and Pakistan remain nuclear neighbours, which sounds like a really intense Australian soap opera, <laughs> North Korea's babyface leader Kim Jong-un continues to set off rockets like the weird kid at school who just wants a bit of attention. The thing with Kim Jong-un is, I yep. don't think it's just wanting attention. I think he wants to blow up a continent <laughs> as well. You know, if he wanted attention, he's not on Facebook going... Certain people really piss me off. <laughs> <laughs> then you've got Dennis Rodman commenting, going, "You okay, hun?" <laughs> <laughs> Is a nuclear holocaust on the horizon? Will any of us survive us, or will Bear Grylls have to repopulate the planet single-handedly? <laughs> and I mean single-handedly. <laughs> I, I hope it happens. I would love to see a whole population who have been repopulated from Bear Grylls who think it's okay to drink your own piss. I think, yeah, after the world's ended. Well, actually. I, I, I think the problem is we're trying to sell this thing for people to watch online, and to be honest, yep. if I was watching this now, I'd think I might go outside and enjoy the last ten minutes of Earth. <laughs> <laughs> well, we sent comedian John Robbins out to answer some, if not all, of those questions. Nice clock, eh? Just coming up to midday. Time to start thinking about lunch? Maybe give the garage a call and book the Fabia in for its interim service. You've earned it. By God, the Fabia's earned it. Right? Wrong! This is the doomsday clock, and it's currently pointing at two and a half minutes, so we're all going to die! A fact I ponder regularly. Ah! I'm John Robbins, comedian, digital DJ, and Armageddon enthusiast. Armageddon myself prepared for nuclear war. Armor you getting prepared? Or armour the government getting us kept in the dark? Since 1947, the Atomic Scientists Science and Security Board have used this clock to gauge how close humanity is to nuclear apocalypse. And also as a great prank at New Year's Eve parties. Midnight represents the end of the human race. And last year, it was moved forward to two and a half minutes to midnight. Why? I'll tell you why. Trump. Syria. Trump's relationship with Syria. North Korea. Trump's relationship with North Korea. Russia. Trump's relationship with Russia. Fake news. Trump's fake news. Computer hacking. You'd think that nuclear war was the top of the UK government's priority list. Wrong. The so-called UK so-called government hasn't updated advice about nuclear war since the publication of this, Protect and Survive, which came out in 1981 using little more than good old-fashioned common sense and a copy of Deep Impact on DVD. I've made my own preparations. I've safeguarded all of my precious possessions. These photo albums will provide invaluable protection from this beer fridge. I wouldn't want to face up the apocalypse without a bishop's finger in my mouth. In this box, I've secured all of my Queen memorabilia. These Freddie Mercury bookends were fashioned in 1996. They've outlived five prime ministers, and they will survive to educate the children of tomorrow. And this button will cancel all of my direct debits in an instant. Sorry, Vodafone, you show me 4G in a post-apocalyptic landscape, and I'll show you 30 quid a month. And this. This is a message drafted to Jenny Warburton. It outlines how she was wrong to kiss me on Streamside Walk in 1995 and never speak to me again, how foolish she was to deny herself a lifetime of happiness, and how it may still be available to her if she would only reply to any of my messages on any form of social media. And that's ready to go when the bomb drops. But can this be enough? Or are we just a nation of Johnny No Bunkers? I'll get round to it tomorrow as all just fodder to the thermonuclear cannons of the sky. Let's find out. What three items would you take with you into a nuclear bunker? I'll get donuts, um, sugar-free lemonade, and I'll probably get cauliflower couscous. Cigarette? And a woman. A woman? Yeah. Of, of course. <laughs> Do you have a message for Kim Jong-un? Fuck off. Say that right down the camera. Fuck off. And again? 
Fuck off. A nuclear bomb drops. Mm -hmm. You have four minutes warning. Yeah. What would you do? It would have to be um, chocolate ice cream, I think, and then many orgasms as I could fit in. <laughs> but what about the true voice of reason? Britain's most infamous prepper. OK, Peter, you've seen a flash in the sky. You're pretty sure a nuclear bomb has dropped. From this kit, what would you be taking and where would you be taking it? Considering also notification from people in the network to let me know and say this is what's happened, you might have to get out, then this is what we would take. The canoe, bug out shelter. There's a canoe uh, in here? Yes. So is that a blow-up canoe? Yeah. Do you yeah. have to blow it up yourself? Yeah, that's your job. It'll take you about three hours. No, I'm <laughs> joking. I'm going to just pump it by hand. Is this the point where we cut to it being done by someone else? <laughs> ah! There we go. All finished. Spot on, mate. Nice. So here we are. Just let gravity take it down. As you can see, it's just going to snap into situ. And there you are. Self-made shot. Like a big leaf hat. Lovely. I think we're ready to rock. We are. But cheers, mate. Cheers. All the best. We've established that a secure base is the most crucial part of survival. And where more secure than the North Korean embassy? Oh, John, are you really going to go to the North Korean embassy? Guys, this is the North Korean embassy. Situated in up and coming Gunnersbury, it's the ideal two bed starter home for a new couple, or the perfect base for representatives of a communist dictatorship. That's insane. Got net curtains. It's like the North Korean embassy is in your nan's house. Got a garage and an apple tree. Maybe for some communist cider. What if that's the nuclear butter? Maybe they're out. He hello, would you like to speak to us about nuclear proliferation? Would you be willing to offer sanctuary to a digital DJ in the event of a nuclear winter? Hello? 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 I, Robbins, will now simulate a nuclear attack. I'm giving myself four minutes warning, and the time starts when the doomsday clock hits midnight. I'll just pop that round myself. Alert! Alert! <laughs> go! 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 First, I need to get as much material between myself and the blast as possible. Then we need to stockpile as much water as possible before the supply becomes contaminated, using anything to hand. Come on, come on, come on! Ah, oh, there you go. And for toilet, these empty water bottles. I've got enough tinned food to last a fortnight. And to keep it fresh, cling film. And finally, time to build the fort. So, with the knowledge imparted by the experts, I'm now going to bed down for 48 hours to see how I will survive a new... Well, hello. Hello? 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 Long time no? Alright? Okay. Uh, I'm just... I'm just mocking up a nuclear attack. Oh, what weird. Yes. No, I won't. Oh, God, these bottles are a terrible idea that... The neck's too narrow. Oh, you fucking idiot, John. Oh, if you've forgotten the moist wipes, I'll fucking kill you. See you in 48 hours, John. See you, Carl. John Robbins, everyone. John Robbins, how... Um... How, how, how would you fear in a nuclear holocaust? Absolute touch, growing my fingers back. 
Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah. I'll be out of work, but on the plus side, I'll be able to do loads of stuff, catch, open bottles of Prosecco, so... <laughs> fuck it, swings and roundabouts. Yeah. <laughs> How would I do? Yeah. Uh, in a nuclear holocaust? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, I disagree. Oh, no. I, I, how far, how are, are all the preps gone? Yeah. Fucked. <laughs> no pret a Andres. But see, that's what I'm thinking. Where am I going to buy my yoga bunny detox? <laughs> <laughs> but the world's going to need some observations that are slightly humorous, Josh. Well, you... the world's going to need more than that, mate. <laughs> are, th are there branches of each still open? Yeah, they'll stay open. Oh, yeah, maybe I'll be all right then. <laughs> uh, next week, Lolly... Is that Oaxaca? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Next week, I'm Lolly... I'm up for it. <laughs> next week... Pizza no. Express? <laughs> <laughs> next week, Lolly Adafofe tries dating outside her echo chamber. We'll see you then. <laughs> It's up to us to make it OK. It's time to be positively rebellious and rebelliously positive. As long as we stand up for what we believe in, don't give in to anger or violence. Look out for the little guy. Keep an eye on the big guys. Refuse to keep our mouths shut. And just generally try not to be dicks. <laughs>